with continuing the fight to pass H.R. 1, the For the People Act. That bill, that bill would help end voter suppression in the states, get dark money out of politics, give voice to the people at the grassroots level, create a fair district maps, and end partisan political gerrymandering. Last month, Republicans opposed even debating, even considering for the People's Act. Senate Democrats stood united to protect our democracy and the sanctity of the vote, we must pass the For the People Act. It's a national imperative. We must also fight for the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act to restore and expand. <laughs> to restore and expand voting protections to prevent voter suppression. All the Congresswomen and men here, there's a bunch of you. You knew John, many of you. Just weeks ago, the Supreme Court yet again weakened the Voting Rights Act and upheld what Justice Kagan called, quote, a significant race-based disparity in voting opportunities. The Court's decision, as harmful as it is, does not limit the Congress's ability to repair the damage done. That's the important point. It puts the burden back on Congress to restore the Voting Rights Act to its intended strength. As soon as Congress passes the For the People Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act, I will sign it and let the whole world see it. That will be an important moment. And the world is wondering, We must ask those who represent us at the federal, state, and local levels, will you deny the will of the people? Will you ignore their voices? We have to ask, are you on the side of truth or lies, fact or fiction, justice or injustice, democracy or autocracy? That's what it's coming down to, which brings me perhaps the most important thing we have to do. We have to for forge a coalition. Americans of every background and political party, the advocates, the students, the faith leaders, the labor leaders, the business executives, and raise the urgency of this moment. Because as much as people know they're screwing around with the election process, I don't think that most people think this is about who gets to count what vote counts. Literally, not figuratively.